Okay. Hey, um, this is probably just going to be a real quick video. Just uh, wanted to, I haven't, haven't had anybody show up yet to ask questions here about um, our activities this week. Um, hopefully everybody survived okay um, um, and is slowly getting back to uh, work here. Um, so we are going to try and resume our normal uh, assignments and activities this week. So, you know, you do have your second program assignment um, is due on Wednesday, and our test for the second unit um, is, the, is coming up at, at the end of this week here. So um, as usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me uh, to, 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 if you want to know things about the assignment or about the test or uh, where we're going to be going with um, activities and things. So, the uh, just kind of looking up into the future since we basically had a unforeseen winter break week here that will mean that um, our last fifth unit the the second week will actually end up being during the last official week of classes so i haven't decided probably what i'm going to do is um open up so that the test I mean, you can always do the written problem sets and the um, programming assignments uh, whenever you want. Uh, they're always open up on the first week, uh, if not already, for, for all the future assignments, right? Uh, but I'll probably go ahead and open up the, the last test as well. So you, you can do that either on the last Friday, but I, but I probably won't make any stuff officially due till the, the finals week. So you'll still have a full three weeks for the last. Uh, unit, but if if you want to get things wrapped up earlier, that's up to you. Uh, you could take the the test, try and prepare everything, get everything done by the end of the last week of classes, or use the the finals week to finish stuff up on. So that's my plan, kind of uh, as, as far as moving materials around. So uh, taking the week off doesn't affect us too much. Um, I haven't returned back the written problem set, which I'll try and get to you as soon as I can here. Although I believe that I already did post um, uh, an example solution, so I encourage you to look over that. Uh, and compare with your own as one way of reviewing for the second test, for example. So, um, so oh, and uh, I'm not, I, I have actually given a lot of hints and stuff already on assignment two. I did this a week before we ran into all this weather uh, and stuff. So in particular, I talked a lot about how you can use, how you might go about using standard template library containers for your queues and your lists and things. And, and I gave some examples. Um, so I'm not gonna go over that again, unless some people show up and, and ask some specific questions. Uh, we could certainly dig into those deeper if I know some specific things people want to talk about. Uh, but, but you should probably go back and look at the previous video if you're looking for some of the previous session or two help sessions. Um, if you're looking for some help on the assignment two, um, and, and you come across this after the fact, because I, I don't want to go over that again, like I said, unless some people come and ask me some questions, but I did show some examples of, um, of actually, so what I had kind of suggested, if, if you want to test some of these things out, a good thing to do is to just use the assignment to sim.cpp and then put in some things like, uh, you know, try out using a, a vector um, for your process control block or whatever. But, but, um, but yeah, you can go back and see kind of what I did. Um, and, and I gave a pretty big discussion about how you might use a vector or a list or some other structures and what some of the trade offs are from like using um, a list of just integers or a list of process identifiers for your ready queue versus like a, a queue or a list of actual process objects or maybe pointers to process objects. So those are all um, ways that you could actually implement your process control block and things. So, all right, so um, this uh, second assignment um, is gonna take you more time than the first one. So I hope everybody uh, didn't didn't get uh, you know didn't need the full week off and were able to actually get a little bit of extra time um, as well maybe to think about the assignment stuff if, if you haven't started thinking about assignment two yet until this point you know you really do need to get on it 
because uh, I, I think it will take most people um, quite a bit of time on this one in particular. So. All right, so I'm gonna pause this video here or in this video here, unless uh, I guess some people jump on and ask some questions and I might start it back up again. But otherwise, uh, hopefully everybody's keeping safe um, and is slowly getting back to normal um, and is ready to uh, begin working on your assignments and stuff again. Um, send me an email or quite if you have questions. Uh, as usual, I'll be happy to answer them um, and I will see you guys later then.